Let's see if I got it. What's up, YouTube? Back another video. It's your boy Kale Dilla here, man. Look, this is my long-awaited 90-day raw vegan journey. Um, I ended it on the 90th day of this month. Right now, it's, in, it's July, so. Uh, <laughs> after a few months, I just want to come here and give y'all just a little conclusion, how I felt after. Um, I'm going to preference this by saying I didn't do this journey to lose weight. Um, I've been vegan for August will be nine. I mean, I said nine. In August, it will be four years. So I'm just going to preference that I didn't do this to lose weight. If anything, I'm on my weight building journey now. You, you can see it through the, through, the, through the hoodie a little bit. I will say, now I did take track. Well, I did notice um, weight loss because during this journey, I didn't work out at all uh, just because I wanted to start from scratch. Start from scratch to build up uh, my muscle. So I probably was going, normally my normal weight that I've been weighing since I've been going to training, since I stopped training, but my normal, like just regular walking around weight, not really doing anything, but just eating, not really working out, doing anything like that, was around 175-ish, 170s. Well, I say 175-ish. Almost any time I stepped on the scale, it's been 175. It may be 174, 176, no matter what. So, and uh, this not, this is how I've been ever since I've been vegan. Before I was vegan, I was probably at 185, 190. Um, before then, my freshman year, I'll talk about this one day, but my freshman year of college, I got to like 215. You know what I'm saying? I was. I was up there, but it wasn't on workout. It was, I had a freshman 25, I like to say. They call it a freshman 15. I like to say it was a freshman 25. But anyway, all that aside, um, when I ended this journey, I came in at 160. I was the lowest I've ever seen myself on a scale since, well, I was the lightest I've ever seen myself on a scale since I don't know when, it's probably since I first started looking at myself being on the scale, it's probably the lightest I've ever been in my life. Um, now, other than like, now you can lose weight. I know a lot of people do this to lose weight. Um, I know a lot of people do this journey to lose weight. I didn't do it to lose weight. Uh, I kind of just did it for a health reset. And um, I've done it before in 2020, during the summer. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna start off the top of the year and I'm gonna do it just because, hey, I just, I feel like, you, you can, let me tell you this, you can be vegan and still eat unhealthy. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to that side, go all in uh, because my my final journey that I wanna be is alkaline vegan. Um, I don't think I could do raw vegan 24 seven, you know what I'm saying, for the rest of my life, but I know I could do it for like, hey, I can do it once or twice a, um, a week just for you know a day maybe monday is i can do raw vegan or raw vegan i seen somebody do raw vegan from like to midday and then they don't do it anymore i can see myself doing that but i would say uh if you haven't watched my challenge go ahead right here boom go to the videos watch it i show everything that i ate um everything that i put in my body pretty much <laughs> if i didn't show it i told you what it was um you know, I made some meals. I didn't make as many um, newer meals like I did on the previous challenge because I made one thing I didn't make on this one that I tried to, um, but then I didn't have the ingredients and I didn't want to go back to the store and try to do it all over again was the um, raw carrot cake. Now the raw carrot cake, if you do decide to make that, let me tell you, it is great. It is good for you. Um, of course, raw ingredients, but yeah, so I did it all for health. Um, I tracked everything I told y'all how I was feeling. So if you want to watch it, go ahead and watch it, man. I know a lot of y'all been tune tuning in to it and I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching it because this has been good. But I, I appreciate and I thank y'all for watching it. Anyway, one of the biggest things that I noticed <clears throat> from being, from not doing raw vegan to raw vegan to not raw vegan again is vegan is the cook time like literally in the raw vegan you don't have to cook it now you do have to prepare your food 
um, depending on what you're making, you know, washing fruits, washing vegetables, um, chopping them up, cutting them. If you want to dehydrate something, dehydrating or mixing different ingredients together. Yeah, but it's not the same as actually doing all of that plus cooking your food, you know what I'm saying? So just for instance, yesterday I made some black bean burgers, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't take that, that much time. Um, I didn't use a food processor, so I did everything by knife and cutting board, you know. Um, but I still had to cook it after that. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to switch spots. My phone overheated in the sun. Crazy. Anyway, uh, yes, I was saying the cook time. Let me scoop back. I was saying the cook time. The cook time is decreased. The cook time is decreased. You don't really have to worry about cooking anything raw vegan. The only thing you have to worry about is preparing food. So, you know, I've noticed that when I went raw vegan, I've saved a lot of time being in the kitchen. You know, now that I'm back in the kitchen cooking more, you know, I use more time um, doing things, especially quinoa and grains. So like when you when I when I was on a raw vegan diet, I didn't eat quinoa. I didn't um, I don't really eat rice like that unless I go, you know, out somewhere to eat and they don't have quinoa and they have rice as an option of a grain that's probably only available. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I didn't eat quinoa, I didn't eat potatoes, you know, stuff like that. So um, specifically with quinoa, you know, washing the quinoa and, and draining it, washing it, and then cooking it. I didn't have to worry about that. Um, I didn't have to worry about potatoes being cooked. You know, if I don't chop my potatoes up, um, I didn't have to worry about it being in the oven for a long time. Uh, the longest thing that I probably cooked that was raw vegan was when I dehydrated some portobello mushrooms to make some burgers. <laughs> that was probably the longest thing it took. Other than that, it was salads, fruit bowls, um, smoothie bowls, a lot of things that I didn't eat. Uh, another thing that I noticed when I was craving like sugars, especially during the evenings or during nights as I was beginning to go to sleep or something, it was so easy just to eat some fruit. Like I've come to a spot where it's like, okay, if I, I want something sweet, I can just eat some fruit. I can eat some grapes. I can eat some strawberries. Uh, my first, I think the first sweet that I had that wasn't a fruit when I came off my raw vegan diet was probably a cupcake, a vegan cupcake that uh, was gifted to me from Whole Foods. Uh, and I ate it, I did, I ate it. And it was okay, it wasn't, it wasn't like the best thing in the world, of course, to eat. Um, I noticed that it was pretty sweet, you know, sweeter than, than what I could remember. Cause if you don't know, if you, if you take away all the sugar and you're just eating your fruit as sugar, as natural candy, you would notice how sweet other things are compared to just regular cupcakes and things like that. Um, that's the same if you go eat a cupcake and then eat a watermelon. The watermelon is not going to be as sweet as if you just straight up eat a watermelon. Now, if you know, if you want to know how to pick a good watermelon, it might be on YouTube, but I know I dropped it on my TikTok. I dropped it on my Instagram. I'm showing y'all how to pick a good watermelon. Bear is going crazy. Anyway, just wanted to let y'all know, you know, just a few things that I've noticed. I know if y'all got any questions, go ahead and comment them down below and let me know, hey, because I'm just letting you guys know I didn't really do this. I know a lot of people do this for a weight loss journey. I really didn't do this for a weight loss journey. Um, I was already like 175, you know what I'm saying? I'm 6'2. So, uh, that's probably, you know, the lightest I've been ever, you know, since I went vegan. So I went vegan, of course I explained it. For almost four years now. Um, those are the two biggest things that I take away from my raw vegan journey is cook time, um, sweets. Normally I would run to get like some vegan gummies or um, I don't know, something that wasn't fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like I would eat, I would still eat fruit even before my raw vegan journey, but I didn't eat it as much as I did raw vegan. Raw vegan, I was eating fruit every day. Now, post raw vegan, it feels weird if I don't have just, you know, a cup of grapes or something for a day. Like it feels weird if I don't eat a single piece of fruit. 
out of the whole day it, it it doesn't feel the same you know what i'm saying and that's good that's how it's supposed to be like you you want to wake up and you want to start your day off with fruits you know you want to break your fast you want to start your day off with fruits uh it's the healthiest thing that you can probably put in your body besides key lime water or something like that to start your day off um so start your day off with fruits preferably in season fruits so one thing i wasn't able to eat when i was doing raw vegan was watermelons because they didn't have any watermelons available but since then i probably had maybe 10 11 12 watermelons <laughs> i love watermelons since maybe last year as a kid i really didn't eat watermelons like that um so i've kind of from the raw vegan journey i found a new love in different fruits and vegetables you know like pomegranates I really wasn't into pomegranates but doing my raw vegan journey hey pomegranates was available so i was eating some pomegranates um yellow dragon fruit first time i tried the yellow one I tried the other one, the the pink one with the white in the middle. I haven't tried the uh, like the pink one or reddish color, whatever color you want to say it is, uh, with the red in the middle. I haven't tried that one yet, but I tried the other two. Um, haven't tried a yellow watermelon yet. So it's still some fruit I want to try, but I will say, doing a raw vegan journey, I found you know new fruits, or I fell. I wouldn't say I fell in love, but I enjoyed different i enjoy the more variety of fruits you know what i'm saying rather just sticking with grapes i love grapes especially seeded grapes i don't really eat fruit unless it got seeds in it so um you know eating the pomegranates like i said uh pears which i eat pears every so often but you know doing the challenge i ate them a few times mangoes i got put on the mangoes probably two years ago so you know, finding just new ways to cook things, um, enjoying more like walnuts, using walnuts and making cashew sour cream. Never had that before in my life until I was doing a raw vegan. Well, I, no, last the last time I did it, I had it with some chili, with some uh, walnut chili that I made. I didn't make that for this time. Um, yeah, walnut chili. I'm gonna put some of the meals that I had so y'all can see some of these meals that I had. Um, I perfected that taco salad, the raw vegan taco salad. I'm trying to tell you, I made some mango guacamole off just the, hey, I want guacamole. I mean, I just want mango in this taco bowl, in this taco bowl. Boom, put some mango in my guacamole. Never had it before. <laughs> I had some mango salsa, but not mango guacamole. I just put it together and it was good. Um, yeah, I think that's the three biggest things. Just, I know if somebody want to try this, if y'all want to try this journey, just go ahead and try it, man. I, I I started I started being a vegan because I just I watched the video. I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it. I tried it for 30 days. 30 days later, I didn't go back. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to try something, just try it. You know what I'm saying? Just go full force. And uh, one of the biggest things I would say, if you want to try it. One thing that I found myself to help, because a lot of people say, hey, you don't have cheat days, you don't do this. No, I'm strictly vegan. I've been strictly vegan since I tried it for 30 days. You know what I'm saying? One of the things I found that helps me stick to it is educate myself on why did I do it in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if you wanted to start a journey with um, working out, you know what I'm saying? You probably would want to educate yourself why I need to work out, why it's important, why it's da, 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 da. So when these days come where you feel like, man, I don't want to go to the gym. Me personally, I do calisthenics, so I don't really have to go to the gym. Or, man, I don't want to get out here and do these push-ups. Man, I don't want to do this. You just remind yourself, one, of why you started, then two, the importance of it, and then three, hey, if that's a goal that you have, don't you want to attain your goals? <laughs> so, that's some of the biggest, it's a big old, lighting bug in the middle of the day anyway um but yeah this is a short simple this is part one if y'all want a part two where y'all just line up questions bow, 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 bow. boom i'm gonna give y'all them questions you know what i'm saying i'm gonna give y'all the answers to the questions excuse me but uh those are the three main things that I, that i found out uh i felt doing the challenge I felt like I had more energy. Um, 
I'm just telling y'all, man. If you have a day where you just strictly eat fruits, it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, it is amazing. <laughs> it's all, it, it is amazing to do. Um, so, that's just what I took from everything. Y'all don't mind my hair. I need a retwist, you know what I'm saying? But I don't go and get a retwist every month, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them brothers, you know what I'm saying? I like to have my hair, you know, embrace it, you know what I'm saying? Embrace it. But it has been two or three months. No, not even two or three. Maybe three or four months. It's my birthday month, y'all. July my birthday month. I'm probably not going to have a retwist by the end, by my birthday because... My stylist is be fucked, man. She got them hands with her. You know what I'm saying? She be working. I did want to come in here and say one last thing that I did notice that I forgot to mention. And that is um, the itis. I'm trying to tell you, like, even when I went vegan, I stopped getting the itis. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know what the itis means, it means when you eat food and then you feel just exhausted. You feel like, hey, I need to take a nap because I've been eating a whole lot of food. Haven't felt that way since I've been vegan unless I stuff myself with like certain meals, like a Philly cheese steak or something like that, or something that's not like the Philly cheese steak that I had was made from jackfruit. So it's not like I did, you know, Beyond Beef Impossible or something like that. So I unless you do get that type of stuff, then yeah, hey, you might feel the itis. Or if you over stuff yourself. But other than that, I could eat as much raw vegan food if I as I want to. And I'm not gonna feel like, ah, I need to take a nap. Oh, I need to do this. No, I just feel good. I feel like, hey, I ate food. I feel satisfied, I feel full. Let me go work out. Let me go play basketball. I could do whatever, you know, what I, what I wanted to. I ain't have to take a nap. And I think that's one of the biggest things um, on a raw vegan journey or even just a regular vegan journey that I've experienced. You know, depending on what vegan foods you eat now. I eat more plant-based foods, you know what I'm saying? I stay away from the the soy, the Beyond Beef, all the other stuff. You know, I know people say, hey, soy is cool. I, I really stay away from it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I want to get on here and say that right quick. That's the end of this video. Again, if y'all got any questions, comments, y'all got any concerns, man, let a brother know. Go ahead, follow the channel if you're already following, man. You know what I'm saying? I got another video I'm pushing out. <sighs> I'm not recording it today. I'm probably going to record it tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to try to get this video out today since it's a short video. I'm going to plug in some other stuff. Um, Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all stay tuned. Again. I don't know what the heck that was. I kind of like my outro. <laughs> Look, that's it for this video. Hope y'all stay prayed up. God bless every single last one of you. We're going to see y'all on the other side. I might end my videos out just saying I all praise y'all away. You know what I'm saying? Ciao.